Well, thanks everybody for joining us for the 2021 ProLab workshop. Um, it's been a strange year for everybody. We've been very, very busy. Um, we, we've kept working throughout, as many of you know, have been in contact with our technical team for support issues, but we've been working on our software platforms and we're happy to be here today to um, show you some of the improvements we've been adding um, both in DP2 and in our KPRO Connect product um, over the past 12 months. Um, some of what you'll see today are totally brand new features. And we'll point those out um, when we get into the PATH session a little bit later. Um, we have a 24.1 release that we're just fine tuning and finishing our quality testing on this week. And that will be posted on Monday or, or soon thereafter. Our target is to post that for download on Monday to everybody. Um, and of course, we'll probably be touching on some things that uh, that that aren't just in 24.1, but are, are are fairly recent, and we just wanted to remind you of features um, that that um, you may not be using yet, but uh, could could take advantage of. So we'll be going pretty quickly through a lot of things today. As as normal, um, it's mostly meant not to be a truly you know you're not going to be totally trained from this session. It's a it's an awareness building event, um, but please contact us afterwards and, and we'll, we'll help you out and uh, do some custom one-on-one -on -one training if that's, uh, if that's appropriate. So I'll start um, by saying, you know, we, we really can't do what we do with DP2 without your help. You know, we're here and, and we really depend on the inputs and questions that you come to us about, the problems that you have with the problem. Uh, because those are the things that we work on. And that's uh, one of the key things that ends up driving what goes into every release. Um, one of the nice things about it is, is the team feels, you know, very satisfied. It's very satisfying, gratifying, working on very specific things that have been requested by customers um, because we know it's going to be put to use. Um, and we know we can bounce back to you as we're refining the design. Um, the other thing we do is, is we listen to the market and, and with the help of our, our marketing team and our sales team, uh, we continue to try to keep um, abreast of, of trends and activities and, and more global needs. Um, and that's where our project like Connect has come about, which is focused on helping you make better connections to consumers with the high quality products and services you offer, because we know consumers still have that need as they're um, still getting professional capture. We're just trying to help bridge that and make that connection with you. So I just wanna remind you again of how we, or, or just a quick look at how we do this. Um, the service desk tool that many of you are familiar with is, is really our key tool. Um, it's a great way for you to communicate with us. We don't want it to be the only way, um, but, but we do encourage it. Um, if you don't have a service desk account or don't know how to use it, I know we had to do some transition back in November and December onto a new um, URL. Um, if anybody's had any issues with that, just please let us know. But it's through service desk where you report your problems, send in feature requests, send in a request for training, things like that. Also, don't forget the top of the service desk portal um, is where you can access, we've put quick links at the top for you to access um, tools. Uh, there's, a, there's a YouTube channel, um, the DP2 tutorials and training videos are hosted all in one location. Past recordings of webinars that we've done is, are there. And also the, uh, the work in a few feature, recent feature areas where Kathy and Pat have put together self-paced um, tutorials. Um, that you can you can um, actually put hands on the software and learn it that way. It's also where we host our technical knowledge base, which is key, all keyword search driven. So you can um, go in there and, and, and search for either video content or written content. Um, if you can't ever access Service Desk um, or don't know how to reach us, you know, always go through your sales reps. If you need to go that way, that's fine too. But I just wanted to remind you of our uh, technical support box that our team ma manages every day. 
It's dp2-support at pro.sinopromise.com. So we have a morning meeting every morning, 9 a.m. So first thing we do, uh, we review the current issues that have come in, the issues that, are, that we're working on, all the things that come into us um, end up into that morning meeting discussion. Um, and it's really our top priority. We're there to react to especially production issues that are limiting or, or, or hurting your production, but also to consider the requests and um, inputs that you've been um, sending into us. Um, and we work through that list every morning, making sure we're, we're trying to keep you guys up and running as best as possible and working on the right things. Um, sometimes through those discussions and, 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 and some initial back and forth with you, we may determine that the issues are really something that a local, a, a local solution needs to be you know, addressed uh, is the best way to address it. Sometimes there's just environmental factors in, in, in your operations. Sometimes there's just more learning opportunities where Kathy or Pat might want to spend a little more time with you around certain features because we know DP2 is fairly complex and needs that kind of, it's not pick up and teach yourself in many places. And sometimes we do some one-off scripts, um, especially if there's not a large effort, we can, we can turn those around pretty easily to help you uh, accomplish something that you're trying to do. And, and, and we'll try to judge whether that's a, a universal need or something that's re really kind of unique to your, to your operation. Other times though, the things that we're, we're working on, things that, um, that come into us this way, um, they, they could be bug fixes. Uh, we find many bugs that are, are, are not found through our own QA out in the field. Um, we, we address those. Um, there are oftentimes some features that we already have that just aren't working um, to your satisfactions and needs, and certainly some improvements and new features, uh, the kind of things that we just judge are going to be useful to everybody. And we'll package these things together um, as they accumulate through the year. We'll get those releases or those, those uh, uh, changes out to the specific lab that has asked for them immediately and ask for your help in beta testing and, and refining it for us. But ultimately, those things accumulate and end up in our February and June releases. We do have a product back backlog, um, so don't get discouraged if there are some things that you've requested that haven't been accomplished yet. It is a pretty large backlog. We do look through it once a month and, and decide how to, uh, how to respond or if there are things near the top of that backlog that are of the highest priorities that we can address. Um, but we do get dozens of, uh, of, of features in to each of our releases. Just go on one, just a little bit more detail on this. Um, what we try to do is the thing, the key things we look for is we're, we're obviously trying to help, help you improve or, or help you have the abilities and the tools to deliver the best level of service and the best kind of products to the market. So when we're screening for things that are coming in and, and what things to work on, the kind of questions we're, we're asking ourselves and asking you about it many times is, how, how is this change going to impact productivity? Either productivity in the sense of, you know, there's a human operator involved um, and, and there's just too many clicks or the screen is too slow or too, too many places the user has to go, um, or actually just the speed of the engine itself in some cases. Well, also, um, because DP2 has such powerful scripting and automation capabilities that so many of you take advantage of, we do continue to look for ways to add new tools, new hooks, new platforms or, or frameworks for automation. Um, that continues to be one of the themes of, in, in many cases of the kind of requests coming in. And it's definitely something that we look to do because we know automation is, a, is the name of the game uh, for many of you. And then finally, the other kind of things we look for is we do know that ProLabs have to offer the most sophisticated and creative products and other kind of service offerings. 
to photographers and their clients the kind of things that a consumer, uh, the client of a pro photographer and the pro photographer themselves really can't get from an average um, uh, photo finishing service for consumers. So we know when we get requests in that just push the envelope on how DP can do, excuse me, DP2 can help you flex your creative capabilities and give you tools. Um, that is certainly a, a high priority kind of request for us as well. I'll begin to wrap up here. Um, as I said, I wanted to get more into, um, let, let, it, let us get into the actual product uh, updates for you. Um, but I just wanted to give you that little background of how our process works and, and what we do. Um, the key takeaway, the key takeaway for, for you, I think for my message here, is that you, you are our head up display. You, you are driving what we work on, what our releases include and so forth. Um, so we need your input. We need, we get your input and I want to encourage it and thank you for it and, and hope it continues. Um, we also need your participation in, in, in the beta on things and uh, when we put them together. Um, so that's my wrap up or, or that's my um, lead in for today. Um, what I'd like to do next is I think we'll just turn it right over to Kathy. Oh, no, I've got uh, one more slide. I'm sorry. I just wanted oh, to. Um, sorry. Sorry, Kathy. I, sorry. I just, I you're going to have to take control back, Guy. I'm sorry. As soon as you queued it up, I made myself presenter. I'm so sorry. You can stay there, Kathy. I'll just wrap it up verbally. So, um, okay. In, 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 we, we have three topics or three sections of our, our agenda for everybody today. Kathy will be up first to show you the latest, um, the latest news on Kodak Professional Connect. And we're entering a, a, a very critical phase of that project where we need your participation. We're really excited about it because we, we know we have the features that are ready to go now and we can leverage the power of a network of pro labs out to the online galleries and expose your um, products and services to more new clients. Um, after Kathy's session on KPro Connect, um, Pataluka will give you a rundown of uh, the very latest in 24.1, which will be released next Monday, and then also some recent features um, that we wanted to highlight for you today. And then our third and final section of the agenda today um, is, is we've left plenty of time in the agenda for the open mic time with our developers because we know everything can't be accomplished through a service desk ticket. So we, we look forward to the open mic session with you guys. Um, and, and lastly, we are recording today's sessions and we'll post these. Um, we, we, we do a little bit of editing and cleanup and separating of them. So we'll probably post these sometime later next week after we get the release out the door. So if, um, if you need to come back and rewatch any of the sessions later, they'll be available shortly for you. Or if there's somebody in the lab um, that wasn't able to attend today live, um, you can let them know that a, um, a session will soon be coming. 